Inktober is the dumbest thing ever. It's difficult to keep up with, it's not realistic, it totally makes me feel exhausted and burnt out, it's simply stupid and pointless. These would be the intrusive thoughts of people who are frustrated about the fact that they can simply never complete an Inktober. And that includes me as well. I know October is about to end and it's part of the year where you can see your Instagram feed flooded with ink drawings with hashtag Inktober. Many of you might have made a lot of ink drawings with the dedication that it requires, while other Others must have avoided it because they know they won't be able to continue this for 30 days straight. But Inktober is not what you think it is. Let me explain in this video. So let me tell you a quick story about John. John is an artist, he loves action figures, gets excited about anime, draws characters and have a small and close Instagram following. He's very excited about this year's Inktober. He opens up his social media app and sees the glorious new prompts for the year 2024. He's particularly excited about the prompt Nomadic. Finally, the wait is over and the day one of Inktober starts. He gathers all the inks and pens and brush pens and markers and sketchbooks, everything that he just spent his money on, and he starts drawing. He spends hours and hours on that drawing making sure that it looks amazing on his Instagram profile. He's already dreaming of all the likes and shares he will get. Maybe he'll get viral or get featured on the Inktober page. How cool would that be? He posts the drawing on Instagram, his friends and the closed group of followers love it, and he feels accomplished. Day 2 begins. He has a new prompt to draw. However, he's not as motivated as he was yesterday. And the fact that he has to top the previous drawing makes him more anxious. He stares at the blank page for a while, then reluctantly picks up the pen. The drawing doesn't come as easily this time, and he finds himself constantly comparing it to yesterday's masterpiece. As the hours go by, John realizes that maintaining this level of perfectionism for 31 days straight might be more challenging than he initially thought. But he does finish the drawing and posts it online. But the likes are fewer than before, and the motivation level is still going down. John wonders if the second drawing was even good enough to be on Instagram. With each new day, John's motivation is consistently declining and on the seventh day, he's burnt out. He can't spend much time on the drawings and finally gives up. Maybe next year, he thinks, and moves on. But if John's story is a little relatable for you, you will know that the same would probably happen the next year as well. So what do we understand from this story? Inktober is not what you think it is. I've learned that it's not just about creating masterpieces each day and spending so much time making each drawing so perfect that it becomes hard to keep the consistency. The real challenge of Inktober lies in showing up every day, even when you don't feel inspired or your drawings don't meet your expectations. It's about embracing Facing imperfection and focusing on the process rather than the end result. When you're trying to be consistent with a habit, it's always easier to try to slowly incorporate that into your life in a more sort of manageable way instead of making such a big drastic change for the first few days only to realize later on that it's not practical. Similarly, Inktober is about the habit of drawing daily. Not necessarily good drawings, but just developing a habit and the discipline to draw daily. It's about making drawing a part of your daily routine, even if it's just a quick sketch or a doodle. The key to improvement is consistency, not perfection. By focusing on the habit rather than the outcome, you're more likely to stick with it and see improvement over time. This way of doing Inktober, way more fun and doable. It's about falling in love with the habit of drawing and getting better bit by bit. So next time you jump in, don't stress about the end result. Just enjoy the ride. You might shock yourself with how much you level up as an artist if you are consistent with it. I always say that you should just get the bad drawings out of the system soon fail faster so that you can level up faster. Every drawing you think sucks is actually just a stepping stone to getting better. Don't worry about it, just roll with the process and have fun along the way. Don't fear messing up, it's totally fine. It's how we level up our art game, so next time let's approach Inktober differently. Focus on daily creativity, whether it's a simple sketch or an imperfect drawing. Once again, the goal is consistency, not perfection. So anyways, Inktober or no Inktober, doesn't matter. Just developing a habit of drawing consistently is super helpful. The drawings that I am doing right now in this video, I know that they aren't masterpieces and would probably never make it to my portfolio, but 
they still help me with my consistency and also they're super fun to do. By the way, if you like the brushes that I'm using to draw these, they are available on my Gumroad shop so you can check them out. So I guess that's it for today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the sketches with some nice music. Comment under this video and let me know if you have any questions or if you'd like to suggest some new topics for the upcoming YouTube videos. And I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.